Well, let's get it then, YouTube. We got our first My Career gameplay, man. If y'all rocking with my build, make sure y'all leave a like down low because I will be bringing out the build video, man. Just trying to get some more, you know, uh, online gameplay, some pro-am, you know, some wrecks, some park gameplay, a little bit of rooftop or something. You know, trying to get some more gameplay, get some more clips for y'all so y'all can really see how this build get down, man. But listen, this dunk meter, the dunk meter? is a problem man but like i said this is the kind uh, of championship college game we gonna get into the game man your boy went crazy this game man last game i said man pass for what your boy gotta get it in man we got all eyes on us we gotta come here I come down dunk me the action man i'm six six out here 210 i mean i'm six eight out here 210 they not ready for me for real man he too, i'm too quick and they got the big dog on me listen me and him painting with this big dog boy. He backed me down. I'm as you see him. He is huge, but guess what? He can't keep up with your boy. He, I'm too fast, man. I got to call the screen for some reason. He was sliding his feet good, but I come and get the 360 dunk, man. Listen, that dunk meter is not a game. Try to learn it. If you can learn it, learn it. But I do got a high dunk rate, man. Like I said, I'm gonna leave all of the attributes you know what i'm saying the sigs i'm gonna have everything man when i be telling me i tell y'all about my bill i'm definitely gonna have it won't that a back court right there let me get that up off you man since you couldn't get the back court my boy couldn't get it but i'm gonna go ahead and pick it up and you already know we going straight to the rack because they can't stop me man it, it's no it's no blocking it's no blocking especially when i got a little small fry man he tried man should have been an and one for real i don't know why they ain't call an and one on him. that's what it definitely should have been man we got to size him up man big dog is not ready for me man he too big he too slow i'm just gonna go right up under and get that steal and you cannot catch me i'm going in oh my god the world did he catch me like that man i'm trying to get the ball back man i could not get it back but i will get this boy man we got to bring it back up court i don't know how in the world he caught that and blocked my pass like that but i'm mad now dude trying to clamp my call for the screen i beat him around and i catch another body man do not jump you understand me just stay on matter of fact don't even stay on the ground let's get out the way man that's your best bet he trying to size me up man i'm trying to hit him with the pivot nice little jab jab you know what i'm saying see if he get out the way he too big he ain't going nowhere man i hit him with a step back pull cash man let's go what you talking man let me get that up off you one time for the one time big dog you're too tall for me to just shoot straight up so i got the lean with it man i get the ball again try to hit him with a pivot let me see if i can do a small dog with this jam I couldn't get, I can't get him, man. He would not leave me alone. So your boy ain't got no choice but just call for a screen. Big dog picked me up, man. I see my man's cutting down the middle. I might as well go ahead and hit him with a nice little pass. I'm running in the crowd talking trash, man. This championship game, I'm trying to tell him, look, vote for me, man. You're trying, your boy trying to go number one. You understand me? I'm trying to get some fans. I need to go number one. Beat him off the dribble. Hit him with a 360 down the middle. You understand me? With ease. Yeah, I had, look. Look at the man. Come on, man. Look at how the man getting him. I almost hit my head on the bottom of the back. Well, what you're talking, man? We're coming back trying to play defense, man. They keep, I guess, because I'm a power forward, man. They keep trying to let the big dog bring the ball up, but I don't know why, man, because he ain't going nowhere. That's a big dog down in that paint, man, trying to stop him. He's coming back down the court. I'm calling for him, man. I'm like, let me get that. This is my time to shine. And your boy coming to catch another body man they too small down here many college boys ain't they ain't with it man they don't want this work for real your boy don't need to hurry up and get to the nba because college is not for me right now because i am destroying these boys teaching them like i'm treating them like they're in high school for real he clamping me up though man he trying to clamp me up i got a call for the screen anytime he box me up man i got a call for the screen i'm coming to catch another dunk man because we, we you know we we can shoot too we gonna we pulls from every now and then but if we can destroy him why not just destroy him in the paint, bruh? And you know what I'm saying? Of course, we're trying to get used to that dunk meter as well. Because when we get used to it in here, we definitely going to get used to it online too, man. But we came into the championship game, got the dub, man, showed out. Y'all make sure y'all leave a sub, man. Turn on notice if you want to see the My Career, man. Because we will be going through the story mode, man. We will be showing it off, showing the, you know, cutscenes, showing the movie. Having a good time on the My Career, man. So if y'all like it, man, make sure you leave a like. Hit the sub button, turn on the notice. And I'm out. Peace.
the two, and we are looking at Palmer Athletics Agency. PAA, right? Yep. Yeah. And Barry and Associates. I don't know them. Yeah, they're more up and coming, but they've got a lot going for them. I mean, especially if we're going to branch out into these more ambitious ideas with fashion and music. Hey, look, tell me about them, bro. All right, well, I've set up meetings with each agency, all right? So you got to go check these guys out in person and see just who you vibe with. I mean, but I can give you a primer. Yeah, let me hear it. All right, so PAA is like the gold standard. They've repped anybody who's anybody in the NBA. Hall of Famers, all NBA, you name it. So why wouldn't we go with them, bro? Okay, well, let me tell you about Barry and Associates. Look, their founder, Barbara Barry, she's... <laughs> She's basically a savant. I mean, she started as a musician, became a producer, and now she's an agent. Killed it at all three levels. Triple threat, I like that. Yeah, and they got a good amount of experience repping NBA players, too. I mean, they're just not as big as someone like PAA. Which means I might get some more personal attention. Hey. Not only that, bro, but they rep a lot of musicians and people in the entertainment world. I mean, Palmer is pretty much all basketball. So that can open up a whole nother world for me, bro. Yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean... You get big enough as an athlete, though, you could do the LeBron thing. Work with whoever you want, no matter who your agent is. I mean, look, there's just something about Barbara and her team, though. I mean, it's just, they pique my interest. I really feel like she got this unique vision. Like, she could really hook us up with some more outside-the-box kind of things. So that's the way you lean it, huh? <laughs> I honestly think both could do a great job. But, I mean, like any workplace relationship, a lot of it's going to come down to who you're comfortable working with. I mean, so you got to go down and meet them before you make a decision. I mean, just feel them out. See who's a good fit with you personally. Rick, what do you know about a workplace, bro? 2K shoes, that's not a boardroom, bro. All right, hold on. 2K shoes was hard work, bro. You gonna stop trying to play my achievements. Okay, look, look, I know, I know your work ethic. It's amazing, my son, okay? All right, yeah, well, like I said, I set up meetings with both of them, all right? All you gotta do is go and listen. You can even ask some questions if you feel like participating. <laughs> you think you can handle that? Consider it done, my son. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. So annoying. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, um, I have an appointment with Kristen Keller, Kellenher. Keller. Ke Keller, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, and you'll be also meeting with Ms. Palmer and, of course, Mr. Bennett. Oh, great. He's here already. Cool. Yeah, he just beat you by a minute. <laughs> Everyone's on the 21st floor and elevators are right back there. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, Jessica. Jessica, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Back there. Hey, there he is. How you doing? What's <laughs> How up, you doing, bro? I'm good. It's great to finally meet you in person, MP. How I'm you Kristen. Doing? Kristen. Diane. Diane, nice to meet you all. No, the <laughs> pleasure's ours. Can we get you anything? Uh, coffee, LaCroix? I'm good. Uh, yeah, you know, I think we're ready to just jump in. Great. Good. So, like I said on the phone, right now we are currently in our home stretch, at least as far as finalizing agencies right. goes. The missing puzzle piece for me is really just what each team's vision is for MP. Like, I just want to make sure that what you see for him lines up with what we see for him. Hey, look, Diane. Kristen, I just want to know what y'all bringing that we don't have. And that's it. <laughs> right, exactly. Uh, well, those are both very reasonable concerns. When it comes to vision, the good news is this is a science, not mm. an art. The very idea of a superstar athlete was invented inside these walls. True. It's what we do. <laughs> it's a, in our DNA. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I'm, I, I do have a question, though. Of course. Well, MP and I, you know, we like to think of ourselves as people that do things kind of differently, mm -hmm. or outside the norm. Yeah. Can either of you guys speak to that? Do you mind? Yeah, go ahead. Any idea how many female heads of sports agencies there are? Uh, no. Nah. One. And you're looking at her. <laughs> so if anybody understands doing things outside the norm, it's us. If anybody knows how to get what they want, regardless of how many people try to tell them no, that's us. When it comes to gender equality, the sports business is stuck in the Stone Age and we rose to the top because we refused to let anybody else's idea of who or what we should be define us. And that is what we want for you. How many, how many female reps are there repping NBA players right now? I don't have an exact number, but they could all fit in this room. You guys get the point, okay? You live up to your potential on the court, and there is not a single vision you have for yourself that we can't make a reality. Whew. Kristen will be here for you in the day to day, and I am always here if you need me. And all you have to do is ball. <laughs> That's not bad. How you feeling, big guy? Yeah, like Ricky was saying earlier, so it's mm -hmm. down to you all and another agency, uh, right. Barry and Associates. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to put y'all on the spot, but. Why should we choose y'all versus them? You guys ever hear of Bay State Law School? 
I knew that they had a basketball team named Bay State. I've never heard of a law school, no. Okay, well, I, I went to Bay State Law School. <laughs> oh, Chris, it also. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Bay State's a, a decent law school. I, I'd say it, it's pretty good even. It is. it is. It is, but it's not Harvard. Okay. And it's not Yale. And because of that, it took me much longer to get where I wanted to go in my career than it would have otherwise. You know, I didn't have access to the same connections those blue blood types did. My dad's a mailman from Queens, not some investment banker from Manhattan. So I had to wait my turn. But you, MP, you're a blue chip prospect. And you don't have to go to Bay State. And you don't have to wait your turn. So Barry and Associates, those guys are fine. <clears throat> They're incredible, actually. If you want to quit basketball and start a music career. <laughs> but in this world, the world of elite professional athletes, they can't compete. We're Harvard and they're Bay State. <sighs> now, you don't have to like the game, but you do have to play it. And we play it better than anyone. Well, it's been great getting to know you, too. Uh, you've yep. definitely given me a lot to think okay. about. Well, Thank you. The pleasure's Thank all you. ours. And look, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually stay behind with them and just drill out some finer detail points. But I'll catch up with you. Man. I copy that. Have all a good right. day. Have a good one, ladies. Take care. Yeah. Hey. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm here. I have an appointment with Charles Hampton. And you must be MP. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, Charles is with your friend Ricky in our East Conference room. Oh, they're here? Yeah, I got here about 10 minutes ago. He said he didn't want to keep you waiting. Ooh, that's my boy, okay. Yeah, you can head right back through there. Uh, you'll see them in our conference room and you can't miss it. Great, thank you. And my name's uh, Adriana, in case you need anything. I appreciate that, Adriana. Thank you. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. He's got crazy engagement on his oh, YouTube. Oh, it's been growing every people, day. Yeah, people are commenting. They just, he's just got this natural kind of. What's going on, guys? Oh, it's MP. Oh, what's hey, MP? How you doing? Here he goes. How you doing, Charles? Good to see you, MP. Am I interrupted something? Y'all sound like y'all having a good conversation. <laughs> Definitely nah, good. man. I, I, I was just telling him about an album launch party I was at with The Weeknd oh, in Paris. Word? It's wild, man. Dope. Yeah, it's a long story. But, uh, you know, I know you're a busy man. We should just get into it. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm, I'm excited to hear what you got to say. Oh, you just going to represent yourself now. All right, no, 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 if that's what we're doing. Come on, shut up. Just let the man talk. <laughs> my bad. Sorry about my client. You, got, you guys ready for, to hear my pitch? Yes, Please. continue. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'd like to tell you guys two things you know, two things you don't know. Yeah? All right, let's start with what you know. You're a remarkable talent. Someone with a chance to do something very special in the league. With you so far. Second, and most importantly, uh, or I should say, due in large part to your boy Ricky over here, <clears throat> you got a very large, very quantifiable, and therefore very monetizable fan base, and they'll hang on your every word whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Hey, did you know that this dude didn't even want to start a YouTube page? Right. Like, hey, no, no, in the beginning, wow. it was like pulling teeth with it. The man finished talking. Well, well listen, <laughs> let's, let's talk about what you don't know. First, you have the potential to make more money off the court than any player in the history of the NBA. I like that. Second, and most importantly, you can accomplish this outside of a larger corporate structure, answering only to yourselves, your vision. OK, but what about somebody like Nike, right? Are you, are you saying that we wouldn't be working with them? No, no, or? no. It's not that you wouldn't work with Nike or Gatorade or whoever, right? But the, but the, the whole goal is to position you as a trailblazing icon. Because mm. nobody else has your story, MP. Yeah. And we know how to make the most of it. Uh, OK. You guys know E-40. E-40, yeah. yeah. Dude's a legend, man. Well, listen, growing up in the Bay, he's a hero of mine. And, and not just because of his music, which is ridiculously good, right. but because the dude did it on his own terms. Mm. The guy started a record label when that was not something rap artists did. Yeah. He's inspired me since day one. I mean, I mean, truth be told, he's the reason why I became an agent. Because I wanted to help artists establish their unique vision, their truths, no matter what the outside world told them was possible. That's what you need. That's what we can do for you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that all sounds great, Charles. What'd you think, MP? Okay, so right now it's down to you guys and PAA. OK, OK. So why are you a better fit than them? Who are you working with over there? Uh, uh, Kristen Kelleher and Diane Palmer. Yeah. Nah, uh, they're very accomplished and respected, and for good reason. But you know what they do over there is more of a traditional corporate vibe. I mean, it's everything you'd expect a top sports agency to be, which is 
was good and bad. Good and what do you what do you mean by that? Bad. Well, you know, they'd uh, they never tell you what I'm gonna tell you, which is that you can have an incredibly lucrative career whether or not you ever step foot on an NBA court. Now, uh, Diane have a heart attack if she heard me say that. <laughs> For them, it's NBA or bust, right? But they don't know how to carve out the type of career that you and Ricky see for yourselves. Mm. That all starts with Barbara. Barbara, yes, where is she? You know, I thought she was gonna be here today. Yeah, she had a last minute thing. She sends her apologies. We can live with that, that's cool, that's cool. <laughs> you guys know her story? Uh, a little bit, I'm not too familiar with it, no. Well, I'll keep it short. She got her start in a girl group. You guys know SV3? Sure. No. <laughs> well, you know, so it's the typical boy band, girl group thing. Okay, you know, yeah, label yeah, finds yeah. a four pack of talented singers, tosses them together, marketing defines their look, and you know, off they go. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, until they're not popular anymore and then they get dropped. Mm, so you do know the story. Well, I mean, he said he didn't know. I always do my research. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, after the whole SV, SV3 thing, Barbara, she just decided she was gonna define a career. Okay. Nobody else. So she pivoted, you know, went behind the boards, became one of the most in-demand producers in the game. I mean, she's got like, what, 20 number one singles to her name? That's right. That's dope. Yo, that, that story's dope. And you knowing it? Ricky. <laughs> Barbara's a genius, man. I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah, like Ricky said, Barbara's a visionary, but Music wasn't enough, you know, she got restless. She decided, hey, why not become one of the world's top entertainment agents? And she became enamored with this new breed of athlete that isn't content to just shut up and <laughs> dribble. Yeah. Listen, anybody can get you a meeting with Nike MP. Okay. Just be good at basketball. Nike will find you. But what you might not get at PAA, or at least not nearly as soon, are all the other things that we talked about. Now, those are the things that are gonna set you apart. And we excel at those things. We can help you get them. What are we thinking? You know, Charles, Ricky and I, we, we always talking about using sports to set up other stuff. My, my music, my mm -hmm. fashion, like that's the type of mm -hmm. career I see for myself, man. Just groundbreaking as a new athlete. That's what I want. So do we have a deal? Hey, you know what, Charles? Man, we got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Let's we go. got a deal, man. That's what's up. So what we doing? How do, what, what happens next? Well, look, man, I'm going to hang back with Ricky. We'll hash out some details. Cool, cool. You know, go do you, man. Go work out, hey, watch look. film, whatever it is superstars do. It's a pleasure. I'm looking forward to working with you, man. Ricky, I can't Oh, yeah, we're going to do some big things, MP. Charles, it ain't over, man. It's just getting started. Nah, we're just getting started, my <laughs> friend. So let's talk, Charles. What kind of percentages we looking at? Oh, well, listen, man, I got some branding ideas.